Audi. Hi, I'm Shay Lisi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going for a motorcycle Can ride with Cammy. Yes, it is a Cammy takeover episode with Golf. Goth, if that, say that 10 times fast, I can. I won't even say it twice. Everyone is on cool motorcycles except for me. I mean, my motorcycle's kind of cool. I've got cool exhaust. Don't look at my towel in there, just in case. You can't go anywhere without a towel. That is one of the main rules of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You always need your towel. What's it for? Everything. For everything, Cammy. Never know when a towel will come in handy. Yeah. To mop up your tears after listening to some Bogon poetry. Dude, what is up with that helmet? What size helmet are you? Um, like a, I don't even know. This is a, on a... That's terrible. He loves it. <laughs> I got one you would like. I mean, you're also terrible, so I get I it. Match. <laughs> I feel like everybody's on cool motorcycles except for me today. My cool motorcycle is broken. It is too perfect of a day to not ride our motorcycles. It's 66 in Florida. Aw, babies. Me and Josh are on dueling gold wings. We're actually giving away the dung beetle this Friday on the Che Tree Surgeons channel. Josh put a Sportster front end on that gold wing and used it to do a hill climb at Adam Sandoval's camp out. Tickets are only $25 for this gold wing and you also have the chance of winning Josh's Ducati Multistrada. Oh no, we're getting off Rudy now. Well, not anymore. That VMAX is fast as f And of course, you have the option of having the motorcycle shipped to you, or you can come and meet us here in Florida, hang out for the weekend, and ride home. As of now, the camp out is only three weeks away, so I feel like right now is the perfect time to win a motorcycle, because you can fly in for the camp out and ride home on this gold wing. Or hell, maybe you'll ride home on a Ducati Multistrada. I feel like anytime it's more than three people riding with us, we are squatted up. And of course, the dung beetle does come with Gorf. That's my bitch. I feel like this is the first official day of fall. It has been absolutely sweltering. I fully thought I should tell you guys to prepare for the hottest camp out yet. And with Florida, that still might be the case, but today it's 66. So I'll take it. We gotta ride our motorcycles all the goddamn day. And Josh has a very limited time left with the Multistrada and the Dung Beetle. Josh, does the Ducati have a name? Yours. Yeah. Yeah. The pasta rocket. Ah, that's what it is. The pasta rocket. I knew it had a name. I felt weird just saying the Multistrada. I knew all of Josh's motorcycles have names. My Goldwing hasn't inherited a name just yet, but it will. to head to the gym. I haven't really shared this part of my life with you guys yet, but I've started rock climbing instead of going to a regular gym because I found going to the gym is really boring for me. Rock climbing has kind of mentally stimulated me enough to enjoy my time at the gym. Oh god, I think I hear Cammy and Josh coming. I definitely do. My goals at the gym aren't really to lose weight, although I could stand to lose a couple pounds after the cross country trip, because it's just so hard to eat healthy while living on the road, especially when you're trying to make time and go fast. Sometimes a honk is just to let someone know you're there, not to be aggressive. 
I decided to ride my motorcycle to the gym today instead of driving my car because I know y'all have been craving some F6B content and also because it's just good for your mental health to be on two wheels. This F6B feels so good. I know that I could just ride this for a thousand miles and I'm craving to. The camp out is coming up very soon though. Josh is raffling off his Ducati Multistrada that he just pulled up on. He's getting as much use on that thing as he can before it gets raffled off. That's the Chat Tree Surgeon Mobile. And it can be yours for only $25 with all the money going to support Forgotten Angels, a charity that helps young men who aged out of the foster care system. And if you're interested in being a volunteer at the Forgotten Angels camp out, please email me at shaylisi at brapstar.com because we can always use all the help we can get. It feels so good to ride this big old machine without Josh having to supervise me the whole time. It makes me feel like I could do a cross country trip all by myself. I am a social creature, so I do enjoy being with others. So who knows if I'll ever do a motorcycle trip by myself. Probably not on something that I couldn't pick up all alone. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I mean, this thing has a really sturdy kickstand and it's pretty low to the ground. So the chance of me dropping it is so much lower than the PC-800. Off I go, alone in the night. Oh no, gravel, my enemy. Oh, my whole body hurts. Well, there's no turning back now. You're so cute. Ready your comments. The Sportster, the Green Goblin is back on the lift. You know, it's okay though, a green goblin, your hair, spooky season, I like it. Everything's scary, sports are back on the lift. Dramatic hair change, having bangs. <laughs> You've got bangs and a sports shoe that doesn't run. Congratulations, you're an Instagram biker. <laughs> It's a 22 year old bike, so I don't think it's that weird. The running part of it is kind of like Schrodinger's cat. It both runs perfectly and doesn't run at all. And until it starts, I it's both simultaneously. I perfectly and don't run at all. <laughs> Such is the duality of Instagram goth girls. Pink season is over, at least until November. Spooky season is here. Your goth girlfriend, Shaylisi over here is gonna get a motorcycle running and be riding around the Green Goblin for Halloween. It'll run today, we'll get it running today. It'll make a noise. Maybe that noise will be you hitting it with a hammer, but it'll make a noise. <laughs> hey, you don't need those. I'm putting them back. Put them back? No, we only do things we need. So don't put anything back unless you need it. Anyway, lift this bike aloft. Lift this motorcycle like tiny antennae to the sky as an offering for the gods. I think the last one on the lift was the PC-800. Yeah, and that, that turned out good for a while. <laughs> yeah. Now who's to say? Who's to say? Motorcycles are in a constant state of flux. Well, some motorcycles anyway. Is that high enough? I don't know. How high? How high is too high? No such thing! <laughs> got a drug addiction. <laughs> hey. We need Bring to ascertain on. whether this starter is broken or whether the problem is somewhere else. When they get old and gummed up and they have a bunch of dust and crap in them, it just takes a whole lot more electricity to turn them. So turn it on, let's make sure that, once again, we're not working. Make sure we're in neutral, we're not. We're not? How funny would that be? Um, Kinda, well the wheel's up, so we'll probably just spin the wheel, but still, let's uh. Sorry. You're good. It was my fault, I put it in gear on purpose. You, you made me apologize. Immediate battery immediate, now we've got nothing. Turn the key off and on again. Test the voltage on the battery and see where we're at. So come on over here. We'll, I'm just gonna lead you through this. You're gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this for you. I've never tested the voltage on anything before though. It's very easy. Don't use that little thing. I don't know what little thing you're talking about, but it's not very large, so yes. <laughs> I don't know what's in your mind. Like when you say that little thing, like what exists inside your mind. When, yep, that's the one, yeah, yeah, the right little thing. That's cool, yes, that's the one you use. Before, you, you, before you're able to access the battery properly, Do we're I gonna have to, to either remove the seat or 
um, remove this. Actually, you can get at it without removing the seat, but go ahead and take the seat off. Okay. I'll do that for you because it's tall. It's an awesome La Pera. That bike's pretty nice. I mean, for a bike that doesn't run. It is. We'll clean it. We'll get it running and we'll clean it up so it's all nice again. So it's nice. When your bike is nice and pretty and clean, it makes you want to ride it more. That's just the truth. Clean Same with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to put this on bolts. And so we're on DCV 20, which like it won't be higher than 20. Stick it on there. We should, if it's dead, dead. Well, no. But you should get around like 12 something volts. Stick the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative. Yeah, we got about 13. Oh, so we got a good battery. That's what it should be at. That's enough to crank this bike over. So the problem lies elsewhere. We could have even just a battery cable that's corroded on the inside. It's got too much resistance. Are we able to test ourselves and our own voltages? To see how much and resistance how much we have? E like electricity that I create as a human. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you create some. To remember, lefty, lefty, righty, receive. Right. That Flat. is. That is right. <laughs> Why will that joke never get old? Um, as long as I live. Because I will never be able to turn a wrench in the correct direction the first way. There's only two options. I know. But it's <laughs> 50 like, 50 it's shot. Like the same thing, like uh, with the USB port, you know? Oh, yeah, it's a uh, wrong, wrong, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're right. You're right and left at the same time. You want to go the right way, but it's definitely left sometimes. So we might have a bad connection. These can sometimes get just corrosion on them. Yeah. The connectors? Yeah. So I'm going to help you with this part because it's a little hard. I hate getting batteries out of any motorcycle. It's such a bitch. Because you have to use the strength of your fingertips. The strength of one man. One man's fingertips. <laughs> Careful you don't touch the frame. It'll spark. Yeah, but isn't that fun? I mean, it's inadvertent welding. You did say you wanted to know how to weld, so... That's a quick way to do it. That's all welding is, is just melting metal with an electrical connection. I mean, on its surface anyway. Left, left, right. Left, left, right. Or left, right, left. It's, a, it's wrong, wrong, right. That's what it is. <laughs> wrong, wrong, right. Remember, lefty, wrongy, righty, lefty. That's the rhyme, so you can remember the correct way. All right, now be very careful when you're loosening that up. Hey! <laughs> you haven't got me <laughs> You had it coming, kid. You know what? Good for you, Josh. I thought today it was my day. So that is the positive one, so that's the one that would spark yeah. if you hit. I'm being careful. No, I'm just telling you, letting you know. I'm just letting you know that I'm the being The negative careful. one is negative, so it doesn't matter if that one touches. Unless you touch the positive one with it, and then that's bad. You don't want your negatives and your positives together. Even though that's how life is, just a series of negatives and positives mixing together. On a motorcycle, the negatives and the positive never mix. Well, I guess they do mix. I mean, that's how you create power. They're just mixed under controlled environments. A bunch of different ways you can do this. So this gray stuff on here is corrosion. Also, let's go ahead and look inside here. These are not the best looking holes here. They got threads on them though. So you just go ahead and take this and scrub them off without letting them touch each other, obviously. Something else we can do to get a better connection is put some uh, lifters on it too. So they might not be getting as good a connection as they need to be. We're gonna go ahead and cut off this piece right here too, that plastic's in the way. You know what that is from too, Shay? No. You know how a couple times when you're trying to start your bike and you get a low battery, um, the solenoid will do that thing where your battery starts smoking? Yeah. That's from these getting hot. That's why they're melted like that. Ah. And you see now how they're up here on our on our surface. Ah, uh, so we should cut that off, huh? Yeah, so. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you can. Just be careful. I don't know how hard that plastic is, so. You gotta cut hard plastic on the rig. Wow, I know we had a badass over here. Well, I just make resin stuff, which is hard plastic. I guess we're not But even... looking at that, looking at that melted plastic, I'd be willing to bet that that was our problem. Do you wanna just try and stick it back in like this? Or is there anything else I should be doing to make sure that the connection's gone? Nope, that's a good, like I'm pretty sure that's what was up. That looks well, like Well then that let's, was, let's that just stick it back in then. Is there a certain way I should be putting it in first, positive first or negative first? I don't know. What do you usually look at in a given situation? The positives or the negatives? Negatives. Yeah. 
I like to too. People are like, oh, let's look at the positives first. And I'm just like, I don't Not know. Not any about me. That. I look at the negatives first. Yeah, that way you know what you're up against. Well, would you look at that? Hey, that was a lot easier. We don't have to replace no starter. You know what we will do though, Shay? What? Is we'll get you a push button starter to avoid the issue that you run into when it starts smoking like that. I care what this bike looks like. Really? Yeah, I actually oh. do. Where have I shown it? Dude, if this bike had nice paint, it would be fucking awesome. Everyone would be like, oh, your bike's so fucking awesome. We well, need to do the paint on it, for sure. We need to fix the neutral issue, how it's hard to get to neutral. You could even replace the entire transmission. It's not that, it's a shifter fall adjustment. We need- And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. We need to take care of the wiring situation, because that looks bad. Yeah. Probably one of the worst looking parts of this bike right now. And this is the reason why I haven't really pushed for you to get it painted. So uh, this was, if you guys didn't know, this motorcycle was originally a C. So a Sportster C, which stands for, uh, I forget if it stands for custom, custom or right. classic, custom but uh, they've got these weird solid risers and those solid risers contain all the electronics and these big bulky wires. And it's really nice and cool and hidden in there. But if you want to put any other kind of risers on it, like she's got these built well risers on here, then you have to find a place for all those electronics. They don't exactly fit under the tank. So really what, you kind of need a tank lift a little bit, at least in the front, so you can tuck all these wires underneath. And then once we do that, I think that you should get a paint job because then it'll look a lot nicer. But getting a nice paint job while those wires are hanging out there would just be like, why would you do something that nice when you've got something so ugly right there? I'm not making fun of your bike. It just is the truth. Any motorcycle build is always a work in progress. How long is a piece of string? It's always a really good feeling when you put your motorcycle on the lift, do five to 10 minutes of labor, and it runs. Okay, we should probably make sure that it starts. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We should make sure, for fully make sure it starts. All right, give it a crank. All right, I'll lean to the left and crank that thing now. <laughs> you! Soldier boy, tell me. I think you're supposed to lean to the left and crank that thing now three times. That runs. No runs. Hell yeah. Dude, I love my sportster so much. I love you. I love you. Six potatoes. How high? How high is too high? No such thing! <laughs> Got a drug addiction. <laughs> hey.